My name's Ben Britton, and I share my life with a variety of native and exotic animals. Every day, the team and I at Wild Animal Encounters work to educate the public about wildlife and wildlife conservation. It's a job and a passion what are you doing in your mate? that makes every day unique. Today, Ben's lending a hand at Shoalhaven Zoo, where they're planning on moving a red kangaroo between enclosures. So Banjo's got a bit of a, a bit of a toothache. He's got a bit of a swollen face. Uh, we just want to get him off public display down the back by the river, where it's a bit quieter. Did the R and R. That's the way, mate. The red is the largest of the kangaroo species, and while Banjo is not fully grown, it still requires a few experienced staff to handle him safely. Well, mate, if you and I head around the back room there, we'll get Nick to stand down there. If between the three of us, somebody can grab it. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it, mate. Banjo has been hand-raised at Shoalhaven, and you certainly wouldn't try this with a wild kangaroo. Come here. 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 There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes at zoos, and animal relocations like this... All right, mate. Good boy, Banji. ...can be a common occurrence when managing such a large collection of species. All right, mate. Get you down there. How long are you keeping down here for, do you think, before he heads back? We'll, we'll keep an eye on him and we'll talk to the vets and um, we'll make sure that everything's well and truly cleared up, watch his weight, get him looking good, and, and then he can go back. One, two, three. It's important to let Banjo discover his new environment in his own time. Here you go, mate. It's a new home. For a few weeks anyway. But with such a large grassy area by the river, it's certainly not a bad place to camp for a while. Ben's been driving the Mazda BT50. It's the ute that gives you more of what you need. 